Welcome to Evaluating Algebraic Expressions with Math Party People. I'm Anderson, your math coach, and let's understand what's going on here. Because a lot of the times, people don't understand that something like this is very, very similar to what you've been doing already. And if you've been watching these previous videos, especially if you're in the course, you're going to notice that you've been doing order of operations, and you've also been doing order of operations with decimals and maybe some other things. All this is, is literally order of operations with the exception of all you got to do, plug the numbers in first and then evaluate the expression. Let me show you a few examples here. Here we are doing uh, two steps and then in the next video in the course, if you're in it, you'll see that we have uh, three and multi-step in there as well. Now remember, you also have worksheets to work with, speed drills, so take advantage of those. That way you can make sure you're consistently improving, consistently getting better, and can guarantee that when you see this on the test, you can crush it. So let's get into it, my math part of people. We have y plus x plus x, so right over here, y plus x plus x, and notice this, we're told, hey, x equals six and y equals 10. Okay, sounds great. So we'll plug those numbers in for those letters, for those variables, plug them in, solve, and you're done. So y, what do we say y was? Y is 10. Then we're adding the x's and we have sixes both ways. So now we're gonna ask yourself is what's 10 plus six plus six? 10 plus six is 16, plus six is 22 and you're all done. It is really that straightforward. Now let's go and take a look at more examples here, different examples. Let's say we have x times z over two. So all we're doing is again, x is negative nine. There's x right there, negative nine times. Then we have z over two. z is negative 10, so plug that right in. Negative 10 over two. Booyah, and that's it. And that is it. So here we go. What we're going to take care of now is, well, what's negative 10 divided by 2? So that'll end up being negative 9 times negative 5. Negative times a negative is a positive. 9 times 5 is 45, and you are set. Booyah. Good to go. Feeling pretty good about that. And we'll just go ahead and keep going here through plenty of examples. That way we can understand again. Hey, this is just like what we've been doing before with one little step added on. That's it. So here we go. Next one, number three. We have nine minus x plus y. So we gotta be careful here when it comes to double negatives, and I'm gonna show you right now. Here we have again x is negative seven. There's x right there. So we have nine minus negative seven. And then we see over here that we have plus y, and y is also negative seven. So right there, negative seven, and we keep going. So Remember that when you are subtracting a negative, because that's what you see here, because you are already subtracting, and x happens to be a negative value, subtracting the negative seven. And so with that said, booyah, minus a negative, that's gonna end up being nine plus seven. And when you're adding a negative, that's the same thing as subtracting. So if you notice, there's not really much else for you to do here, my math party people. All you really have to do, cancel those out right there, you end up with nine, and you're set. And you could also go ahead and do nine plus seven, then take away seven, you'll still get there. You'll still get there nice and easy. Let's take a look at some more examples here. Let's say we have something like this, x plus z squared. Sounds good. So x right over here. So we end up having negative two plus z squared. So what's z gonna be here in this case? Negative 10. So we have negative 10 all squared. So we know that with the order of operations, we take care of exponents first. So what we'll end up doing, my math party people, is we'll go ahead and say, hey, negative 10 times negative 10. Because again, squaring something is multiplying that number by itself. So negative 10 times negative 10, positive 100. So we have negative 2 plus 100, which is the same thing as saying 100 minus 2. 100 minus 2 is 98. All good. There's B. And we're set. Just like that. Let's keep it going here. We'll do a couple more here. We'll do maybe five, four more here. Let's take care of a times negative six plus c. So here we see that a is four. So just plug that in. Okay, four. Then we have negative six plus c. C is 10. So plug that right in. And then from there, my part of people just solve. Just solve and you're good. So negative six plus 10 is the same thing as 10 minus six, which is four. So we technically have four times four, which is 16, and we are good. So I really hope you see, my party people, that 
This is again, exactly what we've been doing before. We just have to plug the numbers in and then go ahead and go through the order of operations as normal. So let's see if we can find another one here. Okay, so y plus x squared. Sure, sounds good, let's take care of it. So y ends up as negative or positive four. Then we are adding x squared and x happens to be negative four. So make sure to use parentheses when you plug the value in because you're squaring it here and you don't wanna mistake this as four squared then make it negative. No, this is negative four squared. So that's negative four times negative four. Hey, 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 really quick before we continue, if you're watching this, you've likely already been to one of my classes. And if you haven't been to one of my classes, remember to check that schedule. The link is right up there and in the description of this video. That way you can understand when my free classes are and my access program classes are. That way you can keep raising your score, knowing what topics we're doing and get the job you want. So again, click there or in the description to see when the classes are and join one for free. I'll see you there, my party people. Let's get back to the action. Negative four times negative four is a positive 16. And so you have four plus 16, which becomes 20. And that's D right there. So I really hope you're seeing, again, my math part of people, this is no different than what we've been doing already in the past. And so let's go ahead and do one more, two more here. And what we're gonna say is after this, remember if you're in the course, go next to the worksheets, then from the worksheets, keep practicing and get into those speed drills so you can master this with speed. So let's go ahead and take care of another one here. So we have M minus N minus M. Here's the thing, before I even do anything with my math party people, look at this. We have M minus N minus M. Think about this like this. If we had, let's say 10 minus two minus 10, notice how 10 and minus 10 cancel out and you're left with negative two. So look at this. Look at this over here then, my math party people. M minus N minus M. M minus M, those cancel out. Yeah, remember, one plus two plus three is the same as three plus two plus one. You can move the order around as long as you bring the signs. So this is the same thing as saying M minus M minus N. The M's cancel, like I just told you, leaving you with negative N as your answer. So all you have to do now, my party people, is plug in N, and you have no work to do. Negative N, that would be negative, negative two. And what's a negative negative two? A double negative is a positive, and we're feeling pretty good about that right there. And there we go, and there we go. Let's take a look at one last one over here, my math party people, and we'll call it a day. So let's say, let's see if we can get something more complicated. Yeah, let's do a squared plus b. Sounds good. So we have a squared, which is gonna be six squared, plus b, which is negative three. Sounds good. So six squared will be 36. Adding a negative three is the same thing as subtracting three, and that'll be 33. So notice again, the steps, they're the same. They're the same, it's just this different procedure, but at the end of the day, we're dealing with the same kind of ideas. So my math party people, again, move forward from here. If you're in the course, move forward into those worksheets, then into those speed drills. Keep practicing, keep practicing, keep practicing until you can do this like the back of your hand without ever complaining. That's the point we want to get to. And in the next video that you'll see for guided practice, we're going to be going over multi-step algebraic expressions. So basically this with more steps. So with that said, my math party people, I'll see you there. You know I love you. Let's keep getting stronger every day and let's ace that test. I'll see you soon. And so we both know this video just helped you with your test anxiety by just a little bit. And to keep lowering your test anxiety and keep raising your confidence, that's what my ASVAB All Access program is for. The link's right up here. Click it, watch the video on how it works, and you'll see exactly why thousands of my students have raised their scores and gotten the jobs they want. So click there, watch the video, and sign up to raise your score. I'll see you soon.